18 ancient leaders who met a tragic end. Death in the ancient world was rarely a dignified prospect. While this was certainly true for common people, kings and religious leaders also died horribly, often from illnesses caused by excessive eating and drinking. Sometimes they were simply murdered, either by their own people or by their enemies. Many of the strange deaths of the ancient world, such as the Roman emperor forced to drink molten gold or the gruesome executions used by the Vikings, are legend. There is little evidence that this actually happened or that it was as bizarre as the stories say. But if these murders really were as repugnant as the legends, then indeed many really powerful ancient peoples perished in very bad ways. Here are some of the strangest and most brutal deaths to befall leaders of the ancient world. Number 1. Senebikai, the pharaoh hacked with axes. Probably living between 1650 and 1550 BC. See, in Egypt, King Senebikai suffered a cruel end. His grave was found in 2014 and, when his body was analyzed, his skeleton was found with 18 wounds on his skull, back and other places. It is likely that he was attacked on horseback and then struck with an axe, or many axes, as he fell to the ground. Number 2. Emperor Galba's head was used as a soccer ball. Assuming the throne of the Roman Empire during a period of extreme conflict, he passed in 69 AD, known as the Year of the Four Emperors, Galba reigned for just seven months, during which he became unpopular with citizens and soldiers alike. According to Plutarch, in January of that year, Galba was beheaded by rebel troops, who brought his head to the camp of his enemies. He was ridiculed and kicked. Number 3. The Sicilian tyrant Phalaris was roasted alive on his own bronze bull. One of the most tyrannical leaders of the ancient world, Phalaris ruled the small kingdom of Acragas, now in Sicily, not just with an iron fist, but with a bronze bull. He would lock his enemies in a gigantic bronze statue of a bull, then set fire beneath it, roasting the poor souls alive and listening to their screams. Phalaris was finally taken down and said to have been burned on the same bull where he tormented his victims. He passed around 554 BC. W. Number 4. Sigurd the Mighty was killed by a severed head. Sigurd the Mighty was the second Viking Earl of Orkney and led the Viking conquest of what is now northern Scotland. Strangely, he was killed by the severed head of one of his enemies, Male Brigt, who he had killed in arranged combat. The pair agreed to meet for combat, each with 40 men. But Sigurd appeared with twice that and massacred the Scots. Eager to make an example of the Scottish leader, Sigurd tied Male Briggs' head to his saddle as a trophy of conquest. But as he rode, Male Briggs' distinctive protruding teeth grazed Sigurd's leg, or, in some legends, bit him, opening a wound. The cut became infected with head pestilence, and Sigurd died from blood poisoning. Number 5. The Roman Emperor Caracalla was attacked when leaking. Reigning from 211 to 217 D.C., Emperor Caracalla made few friends with his radical proposals to transform all free men in the Roman Empire into citizens with the aim of taxing them. His mental instability, brutal treatment of his opponents and his very severe fiscal policy, in addition to the privileged treatment he granted to his employees and career soldiers, made him hated, most especially by the old aristocracy of the Roman Senate, who would end up characterizing him as a monster along the lines of Nero and other bad emperors. After having his brother killed, devaluing the Roman currency and becoming an enemy of one of his officers, Caracalla was murdered while urinating at a road stop between two cities. Number 6. Anglo-Saxon King El, killed by the infamous Blood Eagle. According to the Norse sagas, and particularly the tale of the sons of Ragnar, Ragnar Sona A with a QTTR, she had the Scandinavian leader Ragnar Lodbrok killed, thrown into a snake pit. The attack of 866 would have been carried out by Ragnar's sons Halfdan and Ivar to avenge their father. Defeated, she would have been sentenced to death suffering the torture of the Blood Eagle. However, the historicity of this version of events is questioned by historians. The Blood Eagle is an execution method mentioned in Norse literature, the modalities of which vary according to the sources. 
This may involve carving an eagle into the victim's back. The blood eagle can also consist of cutting the tortured person's back, separating the ribs from the spine and then spreading them like the wings of an eagle, thus pushing the lungs out of the chest. Several 9th and 10th century Norse kings are said to have been killed in this way, but there is debate over whether the blood eagle was an invention of saga writers, a misinterpretation of grave runes, or a royal act reserved for the most heinous of sins. Number 7. Jovian was asphyxiated by a coal fire. As is typical of the ancient world, accounts vary as to how the young Roman emperor Jovian died in 364. Some suppose that he died from an attack of indigestion, because he had overindulged in eating, others that he died from the odor of the chamber in which he was, because it had been recently painted and was dangerous, and others that he died from the effects of coal, which he had ordered to be burned in large quantities because of the cold. He was found dead while traveling through the town of Dadastana, and the most common explanation is that he asphyxiated by smoke from a recently plastered room where a coal fire was burning. Number 8. Emperor Tiberius died twice. Tiberius was one of the oldest emperors of Rome. He reached the ripe old age of 77 years, and appeared to die of natural causes after an injury and a long illness in 37 D.C. except that he hadn't actually died, he had simply been unconscious for a while. The cruel, dark and paranoid Tiberius was so hated at the end of his reign that the people rejoiced when his death was announced. But Tiberius woke up soon after, prompting his successor, Caligula, to order a guard to suffocate him with a pillow. Supposedly, another round of rejoicing began. Number 9. The Greek legislator Draken was suffocated by cloaks. Draken was responsible for the first written constitution of Athens, codifying laws that, until then, had only been transmitted orally. Draken's precepts were so harsh and biased toward wealthy landowners that the word draconian was later coined to describe them. According to what is reported in the Suda, a kind of primitive encyclopedia, he supposedly died in 620 BC. C. Due to excessive affection. During a visit to a theater on the island of Aegina, off the coast of Greece, he was welcomed by his supporters with a flock of hats, capes and other items of clothing, a typical show of respect, equivalent to a prolonged round of applause. There was so much tissue that he was unable to free himself and died of suffocation. Number 10. Hungarian rebel leader Georgi Datsa was eaten by his comrades. The peasant revolt that Georgi Datsa led against Hungary's landed nobility did not end well, for him or anyone involved. Datsa led a campaign of torture and execution of nobles, burning their properties. Georgi Datsa's end is famous for the atrocious nature of his execution, he was placed on a white-heated iron throne, crowned with an iron crown and with a scepter in his hand also heated to white, six of his companions, previously starved by their jailers, are then forced to devour him. The repression carried out by the Hungarian nobility of Transylvania led by Jean Zapolia would have killed around 60,000 people. Number 11. Emperor Valerian was force-fed molten gold. Persian troops took the Roman Emperor Valerian, who reigned from 253 to 260 AD. C. Captive as a prisoner of war. He probably lived for several years as a prisoner before being executed. Several death rumors happened to Valeriano. One is that Valerian was taken out when molten gold was poured down his throat. Another version of Valerian's end states that Shapur I, the Persian ruler, had Emperor Valerian's skin flayed and displayed in a temple as a warning. Number 12. Bela I, the king literally killed by his own throne. After a lifetime at war with Hungary's enemies, Bela finally took the throne in 1060, ending a rebellion led by her brother. But Beauty's reign did not last long, as he died when his wooden throne collapsed and he was seriously injured. Number 13. Pope Paul II died of a melon overdose. Legend has it that Pope Paul II's death in 1471 occurred due to the pontiff's excessive eating habits, specifically, the death caused by devouring two huge melons, which caused indigestion. 
A rumor has also spread that the Pope did not die from melons, but as a result of injuries he suffered when being sodomized by a page, but this is not proven. Number 14. Pyrrhus of Epirus, the great general finished by a tile, the Greek general and king for whom the term, Pyrrhic victory, is named, Pyrrhus of Epirus became legendary for his combat tactics, which included sacrificing large numbers of troops to win. After leading numerous campaigns against Rome, he met his end in the most humiliating way possible. While resolving a dispute in the city of Argos, he was in combat with a local soldier in the streets. An old woman, perhaps the soldier's mother, threw a heavy tile at Pyrrho from a roof, which fell on his head. The enemy soldier took advantage of the situation and then decapitated Pyrrhus. Number 15. King Henry I ate a lot of eels. Henry I was one of the oldest kings of England, reigning from 1100 to 1135. His end came not from war or murder, but thanks to a more common illness, food poisoning. Specifically, he ate too much lamprey, a delicacy of the time. Number 16. The Roman usurper Jonas was paraded on a donkey after his hands were cut off. Jonas was a senior civil servant in the Roman Empire at a time of instability. He was briefly elevated to Emperor of the Western Empire as a usurper of the rightful Emperor. Jonas was eventually captured by elements of the Eastern Empire. His right hand was cut off and he was tied to a donkey, which was paraded and ridiculed. Jonas was finally released from his misery by being beheaded. Number 17. Emperor Galerius died from maggots eating his genitals. Galerius was a loyal warrior and helped end the persecution of Christians in the Roman Empire. He also probably perished one of the most gruesome ends in Roman history, expiring thanks to bowel cancer, Fournier's gangrene, or a combination of the two. What would Fournier's gangrene be, you ask? It is a form of flesh-eating bacteria that specifically attacks the genitals, rapidly destroying tissue and often leading to death. Number 18. James II of Scotland was blown up by his own cannon. James II, who ruled Scotland from 1437 to 1460, was an early artillery enthusiast, using it against Scottish rebels and English occupiers. While besieging a castle held by the British, a cannon exploded, sending metal flying everywhere. According to some reports, his thigh was seriously injured by a shard and he died soon after. So, what did you think of today's video? Did you already know any of these ancient leaders and their tragic ends? What impressed you most? Let us know your thoughts on this topic, as we would love to respond to your comments below. And if you liked this video and haven't subscribed to our channel yet, subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss any of the intriguing videos we post every week. And if you want to take advantage and learn a little more, be sure to click on one of these videos that we are suggesting for you. Until the next video.